Hi, so for today, we are going to talk about age problem, worded problem. So this is still a part of our Intervention for Calculus series of lectures or can be used for review for board exam. So for this uh, topic, we'll be solving five problems. So let's get started. So it is very important in age problem that uh, we write okay, the ages in terms of present, past, or future depending on the uh, problem okay so for let number one a man is 41 years old and his son is nine so take a look at the word is and is so meaning we have the man and we have the son okay we have the present age okay so their present age for the man is 41 and the, the present age of the son is 9. And the second sentence states that in how many years will the father be three times as old as his son? So that's a future in how many years. So we are looking forward for the future where the father, the father will be, okay, three times as old as his son. So three times the, the age of son. F means the father and 3S means thrice the age of his son. So if we are going to the future, we are looking for that year. What year? How many years? So let that years be equal to X. So 41 into the future plus X years, we don't know. Of course, if the man... Uh, added years had a birthday for this future the son also will have to have plus x will also age okay and then we're going to use the formula father equals ts wherein we're going to use the future so the father is 41 plus x equals tries the age of his son at the future of x years so we have three uh, quantity nine plus x so solving for the value of x, we have 3 times 9, that's 27, plus 3x, okay? And then we have 41 minus 27 equals 3x minus x, okay? So you have 41 uh, minus 7, 27, so that's basically 3 plus 10, 12. And then we have 3x minus x, we have 2x, so we have... Divide both sides by 2. Sorry, this should be... Uh, 41 minus 27 is 14. Okay, not uh, 12. Okay, correction for that. So you have 14 all over 2. Okay, 3x minus x is 2x. So divided by 2, the value, the, the 2s will cancel here. The x will be 7. So in 7 years, okay... The father will be thrice as old as his son. So let's check. If we're going to check it, in 7 years, 41 plus 7, that's the age of the father. And then 9 plus 7, this will be the age of the son. So 16 times 3 is 48. So check. Okay. 7 years is the answer. Or problem number 1. So for problem number two, here it is. Ten years ago, James, Jane was four times as old as Bianca. So we have Jane and we have Bianca. Okay. Now she is only, now she is only, she referring to Jane, is only twice as old as Bianca. Find their present ages. So it's good to start with, you have the past. It's always good to start with what is the present because the, the equation in the present is much more uh, simple than in the past. And besides, we will depend on the equation for the past age based on the present. So you, you should start with the present. So now she is, according to this, now she, Jane, Jane is what is being talked about here. She is only twice as old as Bianca. Okay, so Jane is twice as old as Bianca. So, of course, the present age of Bianca, we don't know. 
let it let it be x let x be the age of bianca we don't know okay so if you do that jane is just twice the age of bianca so the present at the present jane is twice as old as bianca because in the present now she is only twice as old as bianca okay on the first statement 10 years ago okay there there is a 10 years ago okay so if we're going to rewrite this present in terms of 10 years ago okay we will have 2x minus 10 because 10 years ago it was 10 years ago and bianca have x minus 10 also okay so 10 years ago minus 10 years of bianca also and at the same time as jane but it says 10 years ago 10 years ago jane was four times as old as bianca so here this is past 10 years ago here we will use our past okay past age okay to solve for the ages of them at the present okay so basically or just simply j we have 4x right in the past so yeah we're going to now look at the past equation so that we can solve this okay so again in the past so you have jane in the past 2x minus 10 10 years equals four times as old as bianca that's x minus 10 okay so that is where we get our equation so again we have minus 10 because we are looking on the past okay we construct our based equation based from the present and then go back to the past which is 2x minus 10 and x minus 10 so solving for x we now have 2x minus 10 equals 4x minus 40 so you have negative 10 plus 40 okay <clears throat> and then you have 4x minus 2x so you have 30 and you have 2x here divide both sides by 2 okay so cancel x will be 15 and who is this x x is uh bianca's age 15 years old okay so bianca is 15 years old so we can also solve for the age of jane of which in the present he says she says the problem says that uh bianca's age is twice so solving for bianca or for jane's age jane's age is twice as old as bianca so you have 2 times 15 definitely the answer is 30 years old okay so this is jane okay so this will be our answer so for problem number three i'm just going to copy paste it so that it's much easier to have space here on the lower part of our uh, one note okay a father is 24 years old than his son okay so you have your father you have the son okay so father is so that is present okay so we care about the present father is 24 years old older than his son so let us let x be the age of son because we don't know in fact that is what is being asked present ages so let x be the age of the son and the father is 24 years old than his son so that must be x plus 24 okay whatever the age of the son plus 24 that's the age of the father so in eight years we have future okay so in eight years future okay the father will age by eight so you have x plus 24 plus eight and the son will age also will have an additional eight years okay that's the future age so in eight years the father he okay he will be twice as old as his son so the father will be twice as old as his son okay so yeah looking on the, the future table so the father is x plus 24 plus 8 equals 
twice the future son's age of x plus 8. Okay? So, and then solving for x, we have x plus 32. You have 2x plus 16. So that you have 32 minus 16, you have 2x minus x. So 32 minus 16 is 16 equals x. Okay, so this is the son's age. Okay, x equals 16. Okay, how about the father's age? We have x plus 24. So you have 16 plus 24. So that, that would be 40 years old. Okay, that's the age of the father. Alright. So, going to the number 4. We have for number 4. We have Mary is 15 years older than her sister Jane. So you have uh, Mary and Jane. So in the present, it says that Mary is 15 years older than your sister Jane. So let X be the age of Jane because we don't know the age of Jane also. Okay. So, yeah, Mary is 15 years older than her sister Jane. So, you have X for Jane. You don't know the age of Jane. And Mary is 15 years older than her sister Jane. So, you have X plus 15. Whatever the age of Jane, we just have to have, add 15 to the age of Mary. That is her age in the present. So, again, six years ago, that denotes past. Okay. So, six years ago, Mary was six times as old as Jane. So, we need to write the ages of Mary and Jane in terms of six years ago. So, we have x plus 15 minus 6 and you have x minus 6. This is their ages six years ago. Okay. So, and from that, he said Mary, that Mary was... Six times as old as Jane. Six years ago. So, Mary equals six J. So, our Mary in the past would be X plus 15 minus six equals six times the age of Jane six years ago, X minus six. So, X plus 15 minus six. So, that would be plus nine. So, you have six X minus 36 here if we distribute this. Solving for X. So, you have nine plus 36 equals 6x minus x, transposing x on the right side. So you have 45 equals uh, 5x. So divide both sides by 5, okay? The value of x is 45 divided by 5 is 9. So that is the present age of x, which is Jane. Okay, so he, Jane is 9 years old. Now Mary is... 15 years more than Jane. So you have 9 plus 15. So that is 24 years old. Okay? So this is Mary in the present age. <clears throat> Alright? So I hope you're learning for our tutorial video. Going down to the last number that we have. Okay? So in Larry and Bill. So you have... For Larry, Larry is now twice as old as Bill. So, you have Larry and Bill. So, it says now. So, it's uh, we have a present. Larry is now twice as old as Bill. So, let X be the age of Bill. Okay, because Larry is twice now as old as Bill. So, let X. So, you have 2X. So, we have x for bill and larry is twice as old as bill five years ago that's past okay five years ago so let's write the past age that is still x minus five and then we have x minus five for bill so five years ago larry was was is the past tense of is so that denotes equal five years ago Five years ago, L equals, Larry was three times as old as Bill. 
So using this equation for the pass, so you have Larry, which is 2x minus 5 equals thrice the as old as Bill, which is x minus 5. Solving for x, you have 3x minus 15. So combining like terms, you have negative 5 plus 15 equals 3x minus 2x. So you have 3x minus 2x is x. Negative 15 plus uh, negative 5 plus 15 is positive 10. So the age of Bill, Bill's age is 10. And the, the, the present age of Larry is twice Bill. So you have 2 times 10. So you have 20. So this is now Larry's age. Alright, so that is our problem for today. That is our video for today. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, to my channel. Thank you.